Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hanks Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom. America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. Mustangs, Ford Mustangs. We do extremely well with Ford Mustangs here and they are popular right now, right? The Fastbacks, the Mach 1s, or the Coupes, which is what we have to present to you today. A Hankster certified unit, a six cylinder. Let's take a look. So it is an inline six car. We do very well with these cars. Why? Because they're very simplistic, uh, easy to maintain, uh, easy to work on. As you can see, there's plenty of room here to access whatever you want to access. Uh, no power steering, no power brakes on this car. It's just a simple inline six Mustang. But if you'd like power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, any of the above, give Hangster's Garage a call and talk with Mr. Nate over there and I'm sure he can accommodate your requests. <coughs> Blue car, paint looks good. Let's start out with the uh, top. Top of the fenders and the hood. Nice uniform color and uniform clear. No paint issues to speak of on the car. Uh, really nice uh, paint up top uh, as far as that's concerned. Take a look at the front. Um, headlight clarity is good. Ford lettering is good. Uh, does have a little bit of flake there on the front grille. You can see like there a little bit of st like some stain or uh, distortion or whatever you want to call that. Uh, the front bumper looks to be in good shape. No chrome peel, no rust around the bumper bolts. Uh, doesn't look like a brand new bumper, but it looks uh, like the chrome's in really nice condition. Let's take a step around to the past or the uh, driver's side of the car first. The uh, driver's side front fender. There is a little brush touch right there, and another little one right there. <coughs> but let's get to the important part. Not the brush touches but the uh, lower portion. Uh, no filler pop, no Bondo blister, anything like that going on. So the rest of the paint condition, as far as the uh, fender's concerned, if you look around the uh, wheel opening there, uh, there's no blisters or bubbles or cracks or anything going on. The tires are newer, we'll check those when they're up on the rack. Of course, you got your uh, spoke hubcaps there. Front windshield. Uh, real nice glass clarity here, uh, no cracks or chips, anything like that going on. Let's jump up to the roof before we go down the side of the car, continue down the side of the car. Uh, roof is just as the uh, hood and tops of the fenders were, uniform color and clear throughout, no uh, issues as far as any kind of debris or um, blisters or bubbles, anything like that. Uh, we got one mirror uh, on the driver's side door. Uh, let's check the condition of the driver's side door. Once again, down low, there is no uh, paint issues to be aware of. It's nice down there. It does look like there's another little possible brush touch right here. Yeah, just a little tiny nick there. Uh, let's check out the driver's side portion of the interior. Uh, your door panel here, the vinyl's in nice shape, armrest isn't torn. Put this window up here. You can see the uh, glass clarity in the uh, driver window, Di driver door glass is good. Uh, let's take a look in the back seat. You do have rear seat belts. It is blue interior in the car, blue vinyl. Uh, it's in nice condition. You have black floor mats. Uh, black Mustang steering wheel, front floor mats, center console car, Automatic, um, some of these are three speeds on the floor. This one's an automatic. The uh, carpeting underneath the uh, floor mat in pretty decent shape, not heavily uh, discolored or stained or ripped or anything like that. Uh, black steering wheel headliner looks to be in good shape. Uh, no rips or tears in the headliner. Uh, no rips or tears in the driver's seat. The uh, vinyl looks to be in good condition. Courtesy lights are illuminating in the floor when we open up the uh, driver door here. Uh, your dash clarity, the bezels look to be good. We'll take a closer look at those when we're actually on the test drive. But so far, we're looking so good. Door fitment to the rear quarter and to the front fender is real nice. Your body lines are real nice on the car. From the roof, Dropping down to the rear quarter. There's noth nothing going on there, no issues. 
Uh, and then let's get around our wheel opening there and then low on the uh, quarter. Nothing going on there, no issues. Uh, back glass. Uh, there are some faint scratches like right here and right there and a couple chips here out of the rear glass, so be aware of that. Looking through the glass onto your hat rack speaker shelf area, that looks nice. The top of the back seat's not torn or sun faded. <clears throat> the deck lid fits nicely to both rear quarters. Your gaps are good. Let's pop the trunk, take a look in there. Trunk mat, those of you that are Mustang fanatics know that the bottom of your trunk pan is your gas tank, so there better not be any holes in it or there you might have issues. Uh, no jack or no spare. There is a um, little baggie there with some information in it. Uh, I did thumb through it. You have the original owner's manual in there. Uh, there are about five or six, maybe seven pictures of the restoration. None of them are dated, so I don't. they look like older pictures as far as like any body works concerned. Um, but there are receipts in there from like 2009, 2010, nothing for the motor, training, or paint work. So uh, I would say this restoration probably took place somewhere around uh, 2009, 10, 11, something like that, because there's a few receipts in there. But I looked for any kind of motor receipts, training receipts, paint receipts, there was nothing. Before we continue down the passenger side of the car, I want to mention to you the uh, clarity here, rear bumper. Uh, tail light bezels in pretty good shape, both driver and passenger side. Uh, no chrome peel off the bumper. There's a couple little, if you could shoot the top there, a couple little spots. They're very, very faint, but those uh, Ford tail light bezels have a tendency to want to uh, patina on. The driver side has a little bit, but other than that, your rear valance bumper area, that all looks real good. Passenger side of the car is much like the driver's side. There's really no paint issues to speak of. Um, you know, low on the rear quarter here, there's no paint blisters or bubbles. Around your wheel opening, same deal. No paint issues there. Uh, drip rail moldings are real nice on the car. The uh, passenger side uh, door glass does have those same chips that the uh, Rear glass does. I'm not sure what they are, you know, but uh, anyways, that glass is replaceable if need be, but um, it's not bad enough where we saw it justified to replace it. Uh, vent window and quarter window are in good shape. How about the uh, passenger side of the car? So the door panel, the vinyl's all real nice, armrest is real nice, paint's real nice. You can see your courtesy lights are illuminating in the floor. You get an alternate perspective of that center console automatic. Uh, passenger side seat, just as nice as the driver. The interior quality of this car is pretty nice. The seat belts look like they're a little older, so they could very well be the original seat belts or you know, seat belts from the uh, late 60s, early 70s. But uh, as far as the interior is concerned, it looks like it was updated at some point in its life because it's in really nice condition. <coughs> Again, notice your uh, door closure here. See how nice it fits up top. And then your, your gap all the way down is nice and uniform. The door closes uh, nice and flush and tight to the rear quarter and to the front fender. Uh, how about the bottom of the door? Uh, no paint issues down there to look at. Uh, real nice paint. Probably to an eight to an eight and a half out of 10 paint on this car in my personal opinion. It's not a concourse quality paint job, but it's an, uh, an awesome, I mean, this thing would look fantastic at a car show. Um, lower portion of the fender there on the passenger side is the same as the uh, drivers. Uh, all the uh, hubcaps on this car are in real nice shape. The chrome presents nicely. There's another little tiny chip right there. It's very, very small. <clears throat> That's it. That's a walk around presentation of our 1966 six cylinder Ford Mustang. We're going to do the undercarriage now, and then we're going to take it out and drive it. It's a beautiful day here in Daytona Beach. You know, somebody was just in our showroom yesterday, um, and we were doing business with a sight unseen customer in Michigan on a Camaro. And uh, my salesman's out there taking all these pictures for these people of the uh, 
Camaro, and I mean, we were talking about paint chips that are so, so small, like the ones I just showed you. And uh, they passed on the car, you know, because they said for the asking price, it shouldn't have that many chips like that. And there was probably five or six, you know. Um, a gentleman came from the uh, west coast of Florida uh, this morning and bought the car, full price, shipped to him with a warranty. So it just goes to show you how every buyer is a little different, you know, and what their expectations of a 30, 40, 50 year old car should be. Some people are concerned about little, little, little tiny paint chips, and a lot of people are like, it's an old car, that's what it is. So to each is their own. This is why I encourage you to visit our showroom here in Daytona Beach. I am very familiar with these cars, and I can tell you this is a freaking nice Mustang. You know how many six-cylinder Mustangs I look at a year? A lot. And I'm telling you, this is one of the nicer ones that I, I see. Uh, but if, you're a, uh, <clears throat> if your buyer expectations are higher than most, I definitely encourage you to visit our showroom. We are in a fun business. We sell 30, 40, 50, 60-year-old cars. Um, they're not perfect from a paint standpoint, from a mechanical standpoint. Uh, you know, they've had motor changes, uh, drivetrain changes, color changes, interior changes, different radios, different dashes, you know. But uh, <clears throat> we have 50 to 60 to 70 cars on hand here at any given time, most of which we own. If you're interested in one of them, we will be happy to pull it outside for you so you can check it out real good. We'll leave you alone. You can check it over by yourself. Um, <clears throat> we'll rack it for you so you can check out the undercarriage portion. Uh, we will gladly let you drive the car. If you like, you could see how it rides, handles, stops, starts, steers. This way, when the vehicle arrives to you, wherever you might be in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. We do a ton of sight unseen business. In fact, that's how the majority of our business is conducted. We'll be happy to take you whatever photos you ask us for, whatever FaceTimes you ask us for, whatever videos you ask us for. I mean, we already have 100 pictures in a 25 minute video. I'm not sure what else we can show you. Um, but we would be more than happy to accommodate your request. That's what we do. We sell cars sight unseen. But again, it is encouraged that you guys check it out for yourself. That way you don't get the car and say, well, you didn't tell me about this. It's, we try to disclose as much as we possibly can in a 20 to 25 minute presentation. And uh, the rest is up to you if you have something specific you want to ask. One guy said one time that we didn't disclose that the windshield washer squirters were not hooked up. Well. Um, if they're there and they work, they work. If they don't, that's not something we check as part of our inspection process as windshield wiper squirters. So if that's a concern to you, you might want to check the car out for yourself. Let's uh, put our 66 Mustang up in the air and do an undercarriage and then we'll do a short little test drive. Underneath our 1966 Ford six cylinder Mustang, we have uh, drum brakes on all four corners of this vehicle. You can get a nice uh, shot of the inline six uh, looking, of course, right now at the driver's side, that appears to be nice and dry at this time, and then the uh, passenger side, also nice and dry. You have a single exhaust pipe coming off the exhaust manifold on the passenger side, running down to a single uh, pipe all the way back, single muffler. <clears throat> we'll get to that momentarily. Let's take a look now at the tranny pan. That is all nice and dry at this time. You can see the whole thing is fully exposed. Our uh, torque boxes, frame rails, those look nice. Driver's side, passenger side. <clears throat> the cross member supporting the tranny up is in good condition. Uh, this car has had what looks to me like a newer set of pans. Um, they're real nice, all one solid piece. They were done properly. You can see where the uh, seal was here from the tunnel. So uh, the tunnel's good. Uh, the seam seal there in the uh, center is good. Both pans are nice, um, just like they should be, all one solid piece throughout. Very nice floor pans on our Mustang. Um, the uh, Speedo cable and tail shaft seal are both dry on the car. The e-brakes hooked up, functioning like it should be. Let's take a look at our uh, pipe here and then our muffler. That's in good shape, no rust holes, rot holes, pin holes going on. Uh, your frame rails in the rear here, uh, passenger side and driver's side both in good shape. 
I mentioned earlier drum brakes in the rear, but we'll mention it one more time. Uh, your leaf springs look good. The frame rails running all the way back to the uh, rear bumper are good. Uh, so the tires are 23. We might have even put them on there. If not, somebody else did, but they are 23s. Plenty of tread, uh, no dry rot, only a year old, not even. 1966 Ford Mustang, six cylinder. We do awesome with these here in Daytona Beach, yeah, but they're hard to come by. They're either uh, in junkyards long ago or they're so nice people want an arm and leg for them. So we're fortunate to have this nice piece of inventory here available for sale. How do you pay for it? <clears throat> cash, if you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank, bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you can most certainly bring $100 bills with you. Uh, that does still spend today, believe it or not. Financing, the collect car lenders we work with will do five to 15 year loans on these cars. They're not gonna do 15 years on this car. It's not gonna qualify from a standpoint of the asking price, but 10% uh, down, um, the approval is in terms of your rate, your term and your monthly payment is going to be based on price of the car, credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, things like that. We have zero control over that. That is between you and the lender. When you fill out the application on our website, the lender will contact you directly to discuss your approval. If you like what you hear, you can give us a call back and we can start the sales process for you. Um, if you have a higher debt to income or a lower credit score, they might require 15, possibly even 20% down. But again, that's between you and them, not us. Once the car is paid in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection. Lug nut, torque, wipers, horn, reverse lights, things like that. They're old cars. Anything can start leaking, stop working at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our showroom and heading your direction. Once it's through inspection, we uh, put it through detail and then a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, if you are in a more difficult destination, allow us three, four, five business days, we will get you your car just as soon as possible. If you're sending your own carrier or you are coming to get it on your own via trailer or driving it, we'll let you know when it's ready and you can come get it or send for it. Let's set our 66 Mustang down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and show you how it runs. 66, six cylinder, horn. <laughs> Wipers. Radio. Good question. The bad guy from driver side turn. Fuel works, oil works, 8,450 miles. I highly doubt that's the original miles, especially since the cars had pans. So uh, title reads exempt, true miles unknown. Amps, temp. We'll check temp during the test drive, passenger side turn. Guess that's it. Pretty simple car, not really much to show. Wipers, horn, gauges, radio, no air. Headliner's good. Dash pad's good. Let's drive it. Okay, inside of our Mustang. Speedo's working. Temp's coming up. Car track's pretty decent. Check our steering here. That's pretty tight for a non-power steering car. Good response in the wheel. Nice smooth ride, no engine vibration or tranny vibration, tire vibration. Simple vehicle. Classic car. We just got a thumbs up. A little kid just passed us with his mom in a black, like, probably 0708 Mustang. So, we'll take it up to the traffic light here. I'll show you the brakes. Uh, we'll show you how it stops and then we'll Run it through a couple gears here when we make the right hand turn.
brakes. See? Stops. No power brakes and the car still stops. It's amazing, right? And it stops straight and good. Notice how we're not stalling out, spitting, sputtering, anything like that. Ooh, got a green light. Lucky. Oh, look at all this traffic from the schools. So training shift's good. I'm gonna beat the DHL van in a six cylinder. Oh, I got a school bus up here. Damn it, and a silver car. Well, that's 50. Oh, I can't get over it. Oh, right. Look, brakes, brakes. <laughs> I have to brake because the car in front of me is turning. But, oh, and they're taking their good old time, too. Some people should have to take the driving test over again. Got a school bus in front of me. But the car goes through the gears nice. Um, it rides nice, steers nice. You know, you got no power steering, no power brakes. Uh, but it does everything the car's supposed to do, you know. It's a uh, just a simple uh, 66 six-cylinder. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hankspears.com is our website. That's where you can find all the photos of this car along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our 66 Mustang includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. The warranty is good on the engine, tranny, and rear end internal components. It does not cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, wipers. It just covers your major mechanical breakdowns. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. Time is money, and it takes time to ship cars. We have to look into the driver, make sure they're properly licensed, bonded, and insured. We have to set up the pickup of the vehicle at our showroom. We have to arrange the delivery to you. We have to pay the driver when they pick the vehicle up. At a negotiated cost, you will do all that legwork on your own. Maybe you are a collector. You have your own opener and closed trailer. You'd like to trailer this car home. You can certainly do that. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you can come drive it home. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, sunny Daytona Beach. And again, our website is hankster.com. Check us out.